Aloha! Welcome to Chappie's Tiki Bar. This episode I'm going to make a Ginger Rogers cocktail. I'm also going to make a Green Gull cocktail. We have best tropical destination stories. And... Wait, this can't be right. It says for Appies with Chappie by the lake I'm going to eat frog legs? Well, I guess we'll see about that. Also, I'm going to make a low-calorie, healthy Loco Moco. This is my low-cal Loco Moco episode. Coming right up on Chappie's Tiki Bar. Aloha and welcome to Chappie's Tiki Bar. I'm Chappie, this is my bar, and with me as always is Mookie. Hey gang, are you guys like me? You just quit wearing pants because the darn things just don't fit anymore? Well, this is the episode for you. I'm going to make a loco moco that's not only healthy, but we're going to knock about 800 calories off of the, the dish. Now, for any of you that don't know what a loco moco is, uh, it originated in Hawaii and it's the ultimate uh, comfort hangover food. So it's basically just white rice smothered in gravy with a hamburger patty on top and a sunny side egg. And uh, I've said it before and I've made it before. It looks like a dog's breakfast, uh, but it's absolutely sublime. Uh, so uh, coming up, I'm going to make a healthy version of it. Uh, but first, uh, we're going to do tropical destination stories and I'm going to make a drink. Uh, so that's Mookie's cue to summon the tiki drums for best tropical destination stories. Where'd your hat go, Mookie? Come on, man. Get it together. All right, so Mookie's going to summon the tiki drums. I think my tiki drums are on the fritz. It sounds like I'm getting shot at by a machine gun. All right, uh, so best tropical destination stories. I was actually given a postcard that I had sent my friend Jordan uh, when I was working on the cruise ships. Uh, I was working for Norwegian Cruise Line and we were doing the New York City Bermuda Run. Uh, so this is the postcard I sent. Uh, you can see it says uh, MS Dreamward. That's the ship I was working on. Uh, that's me. I'm only pretending to urinate on the wall. I'm not actually urinating on the wall. And the sign says Point Finger Road. And then, I, so I wrote my friend Jordan a postcard on this uh, uh, photo. Uh, so uh, I'll just read the postcard. So that will be my tropical destination story from the Dreamward on Norwegian Cruise Lines from Bermuda. So let's see what, it, what I had written. Uh, it says, Bermuda's rich history, the legend of Gassy Jack. It says, Jordy... Here we have leading into Bermuda's beautiful botanical garden is Point Finger Road, formerly known as Pull My Finger Road, uh, named after the Bermudian bean traders who were the first to import beans to Bermuda. In 1742, Pull My Finger Road was christened by the most famous bean trader of all, Captain Gassy Jack Phillips. Uh, to mark the occasion, Captain Jack farted so hard he actually shit his pants. Uh, once word spread of Jack's flatulence abilities, he was beckoned from all over the islands to perform at weddings and bar mitzvahs. In 1768, he was knighted by the Queen of England and became the first Bermudian ever recorded to shit his pants behind the walls of Buckingham Palace. On July 3rd, 1807, Sir Captain Gassy Jack Phillips died of colon cancer, but not before he let one rip so loud that it was heard throughout the entire island. Uh, this was known as the Great Bowel Movement of 1807. Now every July 3rd, Bermudians celebrate a bank holiday which symbolizes their independence from constipation. In 1972, the Catholic Church recognized Gassy Jack as the patron saint of constipated sailors. Uh, I guess I liked the fart jokes back then. All right. So uh, we're going to make a drink now. Uh, we're going to do a Ginger Rogers. Of course, uh, Ginger Rogers was a famous actress in the 1930s. She did uh, nine films with Fred Astaire. I don't know how I know that, but I do. Um, so Ginger Rogers. I have my cocktail shaker. I'm going to add... A little bit of ice to my cocktail shaker. So here we go, Ginger Rogers. Uh, one ounce of gin. 
So I have some tankery. One ounce of dry vermouth. And it says four dashes of lemon juice. So we'll call that four dashes. And last but not least, one ounce of apricot brandy. Now the bartender's guide says to put it in a martini glass. So I happen to have one right here. And that is a Ginger Rogers. We'll give it a try. Yeah, not good. It, um, tastes like medicine, but not good medicine. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> All right, I better uh, go make that loco moco to get the Ginger Rogers out of my mouth. All right, so coming up, uh, we got a healthy loco moco. Right, so I got my healthy loco moco. Um, I thought about doing an egg white just because it's healthier, but uh, one egg is only 90 calories, um, and you need the yolk for the uh, sauce. The turkey burger comes in at 212 calories. A uh, beef stock is 13 calories, and the fry again. The fried egg is 90 calories. And a cup of brown rice is a 216 calories. And uh, I tried to use a thickening, a healthy thickening agent, uh, but that didn't work. It just made it lumpy. I just added a tiny bit of uh, flour. So the total calories uh, for my healthy loco moco is 564 calories. Um, so I looked up on LNL Hawaiian uh, restaurant. Their Loco Moco is 1,369 calories. Now that does come with a Mac salad and it's a big portion, uh, but my Loco Moco is 564 calories compared to the 1,369 calories that you would get at a Hawaiian restaurant. So there is my Loco Moco. Uh, we'll give it a little try. Gonna break that yolk up. Not a big fan of brown rice. Delicious. So uh, coming up next, we got Appies with Chappie uh, by the lake. Bees with Chappy by the lake. Welcome to Happies with Chappy by the lake. So today I'm doing frog legs. I'm not kidding. Look, I got them right here. Frog legs. Uh, so I'm going to do some Jamaican jerk frog legs. Just uh, open in the packet. Ooh, look at look! It <laughs> looks like a frog leg. So I think I'm going to grill them. So I'll just do a marinade. So I have some uh, Jamaican jerk seasoning. This stuff is really strong. I'm just gonna grab a spoon.
Whew. So yeah, there's Scotch bonnet, uh, all spice, probably lots of spices in there. And I'm gonna just add a little bit of ginger rail for the marinade. So, hello, my baby. Hello. <laughs> do, 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 do. All right. Um, so, I'm going to get the jerk marinade on with the ginger ale. Uh, probably just let it marinate for a few hours and then I'll grill them. And then we're going to have, and I'm going to eat it, we're going to have some. J Jamaican jerk frog legs. Ha cha 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 cha. Aloha, welcome to Appies with Chappie by the Lake. So I got my uh, Jamaican Jerk Grilled Frog Legs. Um, I'm going to try, I promise I will try them in a minute. Uh, but first we're going to make a drink. I call this the Green Gall. So this is a muddled drink. I'm going to start with some green grapes. So the reason I call this a green gall is it's named after the Gall brothers. Uh, that's right, the Gall brothers, Ernest and Julio. So the Gall brothers uh, started there on a small vineyard making wine and they grew into an empire. Yes, Ernest and Julio Gall. Oh wait, that's uh, Ernest and Julio Gallo. Okay, I anyways, uh, this, is, this drink is a green gall. Uh, so I got uh, about seven green grapes, which I'm going to muddle. Uh, we're going to do half ounce of apple brandy. One ounce of white rum. A dash of Angostura bitters. A dash of cherry bitters. And so next to the green grapes, this is what will hopefully make it green. Uh, I got this at the Korean grocery store. It may be Japanese, but it says uh, crushed grape nectar. And it has picture, a picture of green grapes. So, oh yeah, it's not green whatsoever. So we'll do about... Um, We'll say 125 milliliters of crushed grape nectar. And then I'm going to muddle. So we're going to crush up those green grapes and get all the green grape goodness to go into my green gall. Okay, that's all muddled. I'm going to pour it into a short glass and we're going to save a little room. Hey Ken. We're going to save a little... What's that? I'm making a green gall. A green gall. <laughs> and we're going to top it off with club soda. 
and we got a green grape as a garnished and that's a green gall to go with my frog legs okay we're gonna give it a try all right we'll get a nice nice one here delicious I um, cut them so they look more like chicken wings. Delicious. Thanks for watching another edition of Chappie's Tiki Bar. Um, if you like what you saw, please subscribe. Uh, it's just the button down below. Can't quite reach it myself. Uh, you're going to have to hit that subscribe button for me. Uh, this is Chappie saying life is hard. That's just the way it goes. But sometimes it goes the other way. See you next time on Chappie's Tiki Bar.